A new purple flag with a white silhouette of a shark will fly at Nassau County beaches for 24 hours after a shark sighting. Most of the sharks that we have been able to identify so far this year have been common sand sharks or thresher sharks, which are not known to attack humans. Regardless of the species, officials believe it's important to make beachgoers aware of marine life close to the shore, especially after a record 26 shark sightings so far this year. If the lifeguards think it's safe, I trust it to be safe. If they say it's not, we'll wait until it is. I think it's good. I think it'll inform the public of what's going on in the waters and keep the people safe as well as keep the sharks safe. Lifeguards have spotted sharks along Long Island's South Shore beaches, including Jones, Lido, Long, and Nickerson. Last month, a lifeguard at Jones Beach reported possibly being bitten by a shark. Aerial and land patrols carefully canvass the area to keep swimmers safe. Our goal, of course, is not to scare people, but we do have an obligation to warn our residents and our visitors uh, of how to avoid danger. According to National Geographic, between 1970 and 1979, there were 157 shark bites recorded around the world. Now, the number has jumped to 800 between 2010 and 2019. Whether you see one or not, we're all swimming with them all the time. Chris Fisher with O-Search says while the concept of sharks in the ocean is nothing new, more of them indicates healthier waters. I think in the past, because we were living in a depleted ocean, and now that our ocean is returning to abundance, people need to know the environment they're going in. The flag warning system has already been adopted in parts of Massachusetts and Maine. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.